The tornadoes is very difficult to mathematically connect to climate change. But the rains, the extra warmth in the atmosphere, the extra water vapor in the atmosphere, that's, those are facts. That's the real deal. Now, uh, we, you know, we are patriots. We are from the U.S. I am. And you would like the U.S. to be the leader in addressing this problem. We would like to be out in front in trying to deal with whatever it is that's holding in all this heat and uh, creating all this extra water vapor in the atmosphere. Well, let me ask you really Tornadoes quickly. Tornadoes are almost certainly a consequence. Are, are, are other countries seeing the same type of activity, the intensity of these tornadoes picking up in those regions as well? Other countries? Other countries with tornadoes. Well, there's not that many other countries that have the configuration of North America to make tornadoes. Uh, and the word hurricane, you know, is a word coined in the Caribbean. Like, uh, so this is a unique, a unique area in that regard. We have the Gulf of Mexico. We have this access for cold air from Canada or from uh, the Arctic. And these two things conspire to move the jet stream. And then that helps carry this extra water vapor across this part of the North America. So it's a unique place. And you don't have this kind of, you don't have tornadoes in Norway. For example, yeah, exactly. it's just set up different. The, we the weather's set up differently. All right, but well, here these in are the U.S., it's a serious problem.